This screen cast covers the material in Module 3, Lesson 11, where we subtract fractions, making like units numerically. This screen cast is going to focus on subtraction problems with mixed numbers, minuends, and subtrahends, as they're the more complex. The uh, other problems are pretty simple, and I don't think need quite the coverage that the more difficult mixed numbers do. In this lesson, they show you three ways to deal with subtracting mixed numbers. I'm going to use terms rather than numbers. And the first way I'm going to show you is how to subtract from the whole. We did that in lesson six. When we subtract from the whole, we decompose the minuend. Two and one third becomes two, then one third. Now we're going to subtract from 2, which is our whole. So we have 2 minus 1. I'm going to decompose the subtrahend as well, minus 1 fifth. 2 minus 1 equals 1 minus 1 fifth. 1 minus 1 fifth is 4 fifths. Now that's what's left of our whole. Now we have to combine that with our fractional part of our original number. So I have 4 fifths plus one-third. Our common denominator is 15. Four-fifths, well, three times four is 12, is 12 fifteenths. And one-third is five fifteenths. We'll find the sum, and we get 17 fifteenths. And we can decompose that into one and two fifteenths. Let's do the second technique. The second technique is going to be subtracting from the part. Now this technique will only work when our fraction part of the minuend is greater than the fraction part of the subtrahend. So it only works sometimes. So again we'll rewrite the problem two and one-third minus one-fifth or one and one-fifth, excuse me. First we're going to subtract the whole. So two minus one is one, so we have one and one-third minus one-fifth. We'll decompose our minuend. And we'll put parentheses around there to show that we're going to subtract first. We'll find our like units. The common denominator is 15. And 1 third equals 5 times 1, 5 fifteenths. And 1 fifth, 3 times 1, equals 3 fifteenths. I now subtract the expression in the parentheses. I get 1 plus 2 fifteenths. And I get the same answer, 1 and 2 fifteenths. Let's go on to technique three. Technique three always works too. And I'll <clears throat> I term that technique uh, the improper fraction technique. And it always works. However, sometimes you deal with some rather large numbers. So let's start with our original problem, two and one third plus, or excuse me, minus, let's erase that. minus two, or excuse me, two and one-third minus one and one-fifth. We'll convert both of these two improper fractions. Two times three is six, plus one is seven, so I have seven-thirds. And one times five is five, plus one is six, and we get six-fifths. All right, we'll find our common units here, and that would be, you know, once again, be fifteenths. And 5 times 7 is 35, so 7 thirds is 35 fifteenths. And 3 times 6 is 18, and 6 fifths becomes 18 fifteenths. Now we'll just find the difference between our uh, minuend and subtrahend, and we get 17 fifteenths. And we can decompose that 
to 1 and 2 fifteenths. Again, all three methods work. The middle one, uh, taking from the part, does not work in some circumstances when we have to do some regrouping here. The third technique works well in this case, but in other cases you end up with a rather large number. Let's do another example. Here we have some bigger numbers. We'll do it both ways. Again, the first technique, take from the whole. We decompose our minuend. And now we're going to subtract from the whole. The whole is 5 minus 2. And we're decomposing the subprehend. So we get 5 minus 2 minus 2 thirds. 5 minus 2 equals 3 minus 2 thirds. 3 minus 2 thirds is 2 and 1 third. Now we'll take that 2 and 1 third, which is what's left of the whole, and we're going to decompose 2 and 1 third to 2 plus 1 third. Then we're going to bring back our fractional part, so we're going to add 6 sevenths. We'll deal with the fractions first. 2 plus, okay, our common unit is 21. And one third is seven twenty firsts, and six sevenths is eighteen twenty firsts. We'll find the sum of our expression in the parentheses, and we get twenty five twenty firsts. We decompose that, we get two plus twenty five or twenty one twenty firsts plus four twenty firsts. And that gives us 3 and 4 twenty-firsts. Let's do technique 2. We'll rewrite the expression. 5 and 6 sevenths minus 2 and 2 thirds. We're going to take from the part. So first I'm going to subtract my whole. And 5 minus 2 is 3. So now I have 3 and 6 sevenths minus 2 thirds. We're going to decompose my minuend. So I have 3 plus 6 sevenths minus 2 thirds. Our common denominator is 21. And 6 sevenths becomes 18 twenty-firsts, and 2 thirds becomes 14 twenty-firsts. We find the difference of the expression in the parentheses, and we get 4 twenty-firsts. So our answer, once again, is 3 and 4 twenty-firsts. Now we'll do this the third way. Let's write our original expression. I have 5 and 6 sevenths minus 2 and 2 thirds. Again with this technique we change our mixed numbers into improper fractions. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 6 is 41. As you can see we're starting to work with some bigger numbers here. And 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8 minus 8 thirds. Our common unit is still 21. And 41 sevenths becomes 123 twenty firsts. And this uh, 8 thirds becomes 56 twenty firsts. Okay, now we're talking about some s subtraction that is perhaps difficult for many of us to do in our heads, so we're going to take the time and make sure we get it right, and we're going to actually subtract this out. And we regroup. I get a 7. This becomes 11. And we get 67. 
So we have 67 21sts. Again, uh, some of us may not be able to do this in our heads, so we're actually going to divide. Because uh, fractions are also division problems. And we can see that this goes in. To, uh, 21 goes into 67 three times. I get 63. And I have a remainder of 4. So this becomes 3. And my remainder becomes my numerator. And my denominator is my divisor. So you can see that in all three techniques result in the same answer. Again, number one always works. Number two works when the fraction in the minuend is greater than the fraction in the subtrahend. Technique three always works. However, you start working with some larger numbers and you're, uh, it's more difficult to do the calculations in your head, uh, you may have to write things out and do some of these problems, such as we did with the subtraction and the division.